Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody, for taking time to listen tonight. It's very simple. We have a choice to make. What do we want the future of Providence to look like? Do we want a city that cares about its people or a city that cares about infrastructure, balance sheets, and ultimately just growing the tax base? I believe that the greatest asset of Providence is our people and we need to invest in our people. And the greatest challenge facing our city, which underlies all the obstacles that we have described tonight and spoken about tonight, our education system, our tax burden, our public safety challenges, all these issues are underlined by a wealth and opportunity gap that is persistent and pervasive and continues to impact primarily people in low-income communities and people of color across the entire city. We need to change that reality. We need to close that gap. And the only way we're gonna close that gap is by investing in our people. We're gonna invest in our neighborhoods. We're gonna invest in our youth. We're gonna invest in our business districts. We're gonna make it possible for our communities to grow. Trinity Square is a perfect representation of so many neighborhoods and so many communities across the city and so many business districts that have been neglected for years. Business districts that are kept alive by entrepreneurs that are primarily people of color who have invested their own funds, who have gone into significant debt, who have navigated a very unfriendly regulatory environment to push ahead because they have a dream. We need to provide technical support, we need to provide capital access, and sometimes we need to just get the city out of the way so that more of these businesses can thrive, so that they can create economic development, create jobs, help us expand our tax base, and ultimately help our families prosper so that we can close that wage and opportunity gap that exists. This is how we're going to accomplish home ownership. This is how we're going to improve our schools, and this is how we're going to move the city forward. And this is my vision for the city of Providence because this is what I've been working on for my entire adult life. I'm familiar with this building, not because I come to forums, because I spent years helping small community cultural organizations flourish in this building. I'm familiar with this neighborhood because I've helped my friend Ruben establish his business right up the street. I'm familiar with this neighborhood because my wife has had a community theater a block away for seven years. I know this neighborhood well. It's not, this isn't about anecdotes. This is about real experience and being ready on day one and understanding the reality of our community and our people and being able to take action. Thank you very much. Please check out the Donald's Project.